adventure lovers? Are you looking for an island where you can go cliff jumping or a place where you can go down to the beach only from a rope and climbing down a rock? Or you want to go on a hike before going to the beach? Then look no further because they have the perfect Greek island for you. Hi Curious Gang! Welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm giving you a very warm hug. My name is Fasi, I live in London but I also love traveling and if you want to see more content around these topics, don't forget to like this video and subscribe because you know you will get a tons of tips all for free. Good morning guys and today we are at like one of the kind of most dangerous beaches here on the island because going down it's going to a bit of an adventure and I read so many warnings that if you're not fit enough you shouldn't go because they aren't like proper stairs always make sure if you come to this beach called Cicarado to wear comfortable shoes because it's so beautiful but we have to go from over there and I tried documenting how can you actually get down and all the steps but to be honest with you it was a lot harder than what I have anticipated I thought it would be lots of fun and kind of an adventure and it was still an adventure but a very difficult one because first you have to find the rope and the stairwell after that you climb down then you follow like this passage in between the rocks and uh, after that you climb down then there is a second passage and then a second ladder yeah it's definitely not for everyone but at the same time i have to say it was totally worth it look at that behind me you can see the staircase but at the same time from how difficult it is i have to say there are also quite a lot of people in here guys i just wanted to memorate this moment of memory me and ben in a car driving because it's not something that happens very often but it we're really enjoying it and also if you come to Milos I also really suggest you taking a car because in Santorini they have buses which uh, take you pretty much to all touristy places and they run quite often but it's not the same in Milos. There's small streets you know that like give you access to the beaches don't even have asphalt on them so like yeah. it's kind of hard to drive the streets are bumpy you know definitely get a small SUV or like you know any 4x4 you know be fine. Look at these solar panels Basically, I think it's the street light that yeah. it's run by the solar energy. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. amazing. But what, what is this? What is this? Yeah. Looks like salt. Never seen salt. Before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is. At the moment, guys, we are in the city of Plaka, which actually is the capital of the island. Did you know that? Yeah, even Ben didn't know that, I can see his surprised face. For this city, it also has a castle and it also kind of is uh, a separation between the two parts of the city. From one side, you have locals and uh, local shops and supermarkets and from the other, it's made more for the tourists and it is where you can actually visit the castle. And guys, fun fact, actually, this is the second time that we are in here because yesterday we tried to come but like Google Maps was not working because there was like no, no, signal. no signal so we just got lost we went on top of like some hill we didn't know where to go we panicked and we just went home but yeah it's worth it so that's why we're coming back no, again I wouldn't say it's worth it yeah. And for the ones of you that are coming by car, your best shot is actually parking down because the parking is totally free and it's public and then just go up by foot. It's not as enjoyable but at the same time you don't pay for parking and here up it's quite hard to find the free spot. And as usual, as pretty much in every Greek city, I have been to on the most possible top part of the hill and like of the village, you will find the church. And something which I find extremely cute is uh, this maze of valleys, which are actually built to confuse pirates. Did you know that? And 
just for a comparison, this street is like a tuna can. Vasi big, pretty much. It's vasi big. <laughs> filming because I can hear locals are over there. I mean, honestly, you guys, the doors and stairs in here are so cute! Look at that! And by the way, you guys, Greece is the country of cats. There are so many of them. Ciao, Micho! Micho! We have an orange pine here. Mm. Look at that! Blue sponge. <laughs> and that's pretty much everything in here. It's so full with like mm. sugar syrup. Hello, curious gang. At the moment, we are in Polonia, which is a city in the northeastern part of the island of Milos. And fun fact, just before we start, actually, Polonia in Italian means Poland, so it's quite funny that we are here. But this is actually a fishing village, and it's the second biggest right after Adamas, where we are staying. Also, has tons of restaurants, and which of course offer a lot of seafood and there is beach right next to it yeah how big of a surprise is it that there is a beach on an island i mean uh -huh. literally it's full of them and by the way you guys if you like we are entering into the greek mood and way of life because it's around 6 6 30 we had a nap in the afternoon and now we're just going for a walk and no one is even like thinking about dinner yet and like these are the fishing boats they're literally like nothing special but after we realized that they almost don't eat fish on this island i thought that this must be something special so i had to film them but also don't you find it quite odd that they don't eat fish like there was fish at the restaurants but definitely not a lot Guys, something which I think it's the best time to talk to you about is the service in Greece. Usually they would be very nice and kind to you, but sometimes when you try to kind of question their food or the way something rich rich is done, they don't yeah. take it very well. You did that quite a lot, didn't you? And this is what happened to me with the lemonade at the moment, because I ordered a homemade lemonade and what I got was a little bit of squeezed lemon and uh, sparkling water this is not what i mean by homemade lemonade and anyways i tried telling them and they weren't really supportive so just keep in mind that the customer service here is just not on the same level as it is in the uk or in the us but it's fine And our biggest adventure on the island of Minos was trying to get to Kleftiko Bay, but let's just say it didn't really end up as expected because everyone was suggesting us to take a boat tour, but I also read an article saying that you can totally hike to there and that's what we decided to do, but this is what happened. And the road at the moment is this, like that. It is not paved anymore. Yeah. It's really bumpy. And think that at some point we will have to leave the car and go hiking because the road will be even worse than that. And I decided to film this goat because it was literally the only living creature that we saw for two hours and a half. We arrived kind of in the middle of nowhere to where Google Maps was telling us to go and there is no beach literally like it's not it's not even close we asked the local person and they were like no you can only get there by boat so i think i was i got kind of confused from the articles that i read maybe there is a way but not from where we are at the moment so i think we'll just give up and uh yeah and go back but i wanted to show you how we have been driving all the street is like that so we did 20 kilometers on this road and it took us so long to get into here and i'm a bit disappointed but at the same time i don't want to ruin my mood so i will we'll just go to another beach instead 
and instead we went to this Fira Placa beach which is actually featured on the other video of Milos which you can find here on the right. And I was just going to suggest you to take a boat instead and I found this video from just a couple of days ago. A bit more information we can bring you about this ship that has sunk off uh, one of the islands in Greece, Milos. I don't think that this was actually a boat with tourists going around to Kleftiko, but at the same time, just be careful and research well the company of boats that you're taking. And you guys, if you think that this video is cool and informative, don't forget to like it and also consider subscribing if you want to see more travel related content or videos from London where I actually live. Love you all. Bye.